Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Let's Play Aeador Genesis. In the last episode, we began taking red provinces. You know, might as well spread the love. We took a few blues, not taking a few reds, to keep them both on the off foot. I think that's the, that's the proper uh, term to use. We're going to be taking another one of reds, and then we're going to double back to our base to repair our stuff, and then probably take a few more blues. We're going to keep alternating who we're attacking. In truth, though... Uh, let's, just, let's just get this out of the way. We probably don't need to. Um, we are probably strong enough that we can just slaughter red and then blue and just get be done with it. In fact, if when I conquer this place, we see red's main base of operations here, we may just attack them and finish off red altogether. Uh, I'll have to make up my mind and we'll do that based on how well my equipment is holding up. Down over here, Crud is busy doing cruddy things. He is exploring stuff. We're going to move him south now so that we can get rid of some of this red over this structure. And his equipment is looking like it's in tip-top shape as well. That's fantastic. And Earth is here just exploring our main province. Might as well get that to 100%. That will give us more money and income and stuff like that as well. More money and income, more money and gems, Tim. Oh, right. We also purchased a jewelry store. Oh, that was some time ago. Uh, let's go ahead and let's purchase a plus one hit point ring for you, sir. Okay, and with that all done, I think we're going to... Are we ending the turn? Do we have to build another building? No, do we need to build another structure? I don't think so. Nope, we're all good. Uh, we cast a spell. We have some enchanted coffers. I don't really need the money that badly, though. We have some summon Ikari. I forgot about those. Hmm. We could maybe fit them into an army next time. Well, let's go ahead and just uh, end our turn. Actually, what's our income as well? Hmm. All right, let's end our turn. The province of Dryad Thicket has been invaded by a party of the local lord, headed by hero Shraz. How oh, Shraz? Number of units ten. A ringleader, pikemen, crosswomen, spearmen, and militiamen. So, our provinces are now falling under attack by the blue player. Um, we're, we'll say he'll regret this. And he is definitely attacking this province. Because we're playing New Horizons, New Horizons is giving me the option to use the guard that is stationed here. I will do so once. But most of the time, I just don't care. It has a lot of time. The enemy generally wins anyway, and so uh, I just want it to be over as quick as possible. Let's say yes, most likely. Oh, that is quite a few units that he has. Yes, indeed. And he is up here. His morale is low. So uh, my, obje my main objective would be to normally kill him. But he is pretty far away. I don't know if we'll easily be able to do that. We can definitely kill a handful of his units. Let's, uh, let's try to kill a few of his units. We're going to just admit that we're not going to be able to kill him himself. Right, let's keep the peasants over here. And we'll move all of our other troops into the woods. Let's do something like that. Alright, let's start. And he started with the fear spell. Okay, let's uh, begin moving our troops out. He might try to make this guy run, and there won't be anything I can really do about it if he succeeds at that. Might as well put some damage on one of these guys. Move you down one. We'll keep you in the forest to strike second, and we'll just run the rest of these guys up. All right, let's end the turn. Go peasants, kill! Kill in the name of the... The Lord... Me! Yes! Okay. Let's uh, move up a bit more. With these two. Let's take out one of his infantry. Oh, right. I also should look at... Check all his units and see if any of them are leveled, as it were. No, these are all low-level units. So it doesn't really matter if I kill them. He'll just hire new ones. What does he have? Let's take a look. He has armor piercing shot. He might be using a crossbow. Forest knowledge, hills knowledge, and swamp knowledge. Swamp knowledge is three, so that's what he started with. He's a plunderer. Oh, because he's a ringleader. That's right. 
He is looting and 80%, so he's really into cash. He has only... Looks like he has a uh, ranged weaponry 3, as it were. Two points in upping the damage and one point in range. He has a mobility of 2 and initiative 3. He's taking a lot of points into that. Okay, he's not the strongest yet. Uh, can we kill a pikeman? One down. Alright, that's good. We killed one of them, they killed... Actually, we killed two of them, and they... I don't think they've killed... No, they killed one of ours? They did not kill any of us yet. Crap! He's a necromancer! He has a skeleton. It'll be lower level. Won't be the most dangerous thing in the world. Yeah, we can kill that this turn. Let's move you one, two, up here. We'll just keep you there. Destroy that skeleton. Let's kill our own peasant on this peasant. Just to free up a spot. Begin charging them. Our bowmen help kill this guy. Looking pretty bad for them so far. Looking pretty bad for the ringleader. It's very bad if he charged his own unit forward. We can easily kill him. Well, maybe not easily, but we can kill him. And that's the only thing I really need to do, because we'll defeat his army no matter what if he's dead. Get rid of some of that stamina on that guy. Some morale hits, but we're not dead yet. Let's get rid of some more of this guy's stamina. That's the only thing I really care about at this moment. Without stamina, he is going to die just utterly to our army. There won't be very much he can do whatsoever. Um, this guy still has stamina left. Let's get in his way. Gonna be very close. We'll have to get lucky to, to win the fat battle with everything intact. Good. Down he goes. out of arrows, I guess. Let's have these guys rest in the woods. Um, let's have you try to get away. Zombie dead. That was a misclick. We can have you rest. Oh, you still have arrows left. Oh, you don't have, uh, what you call it? Can't move in the woods. Nice! It's over! We actually defeated him with our army. That's fantastic. Wonderful work, team. I didn't think we'd actually win that. Good for me. Of course, because we were defender, we don't earn any spoils. But this means that this group did level up. Let's take ammo plus one. Hit points, precise shot, we'll give him a medal. Resistance, counterattack, uh, crippling shot, range attack plus one, we'll give him a medal. The hero, oh, this is interesting. The hero Skirud has entered the province of Forlorn Plateau. These lands belong to the ruler local lord. The local guards attempt to retreat without a fight. 
Occasionally, the enemy's morale may be low, and or uh, you're just killing things and you're too strong and the enemy just doesn't want to fight you. We can, as we know by now, easily defeat this enemy group, but I think we'll let them leave rather than run them down. Earth did not find anything, and that's the end of that. Wow. Well, that went really super well. I didn't think we'd actually hold that location. There is the enemy's main fortifications as well. Right there. Okay. Let's first hire a guard here. We want to take this. It's guarded by the heroes as well. We will probably win that. We might take a loss, though. Which is say we'll, use a, we'll lose a unit. Right now, I want to get Sirud, um, Skirud back. I would like to repair his equipment. This way we can do a long siege on the enemy without too much trouble. Let's cast Fairwind. And he will move all the way back to our base in one turn. Crud will move his army over here. And we'll just do some searching. And Earth can still do what he's doing and continue to simply explore. Oh, we didn't build anything. Um, we totally should build something. We don't really need to, though, I suppose. Everything has two structures. Oh, you do not. Your planes. Oh, but you're not ours. That's why. Uh, I guess we should... I guess we can... Build a granary somewhere. I'm looking at the explore percentage to see where I want to build one. Let's build one here. Um, yeah, crud. Go over in that direction. You yourself cannot kill one of these armies yet. You need to be a few more levels higher and or have more people with you. That's fine. We'll save up for later. Earth has found a dark hollow. That sounds too tough for us. We'll just continue exploring. What was in that dark hollow? Let's take a peek. Black unicorns. Nope, we're, we're doomed. <laughs> we're not going to do that battle uh, ever. We've seen how powerful one black unicorn is. Holy crap. Can you imagine there being multiples? That'd be just a nightmare. Let's grab another stamina ring. And then, uh, do we need more troops? We do not. Do we need more magic. We do not. We send you right back over to Red's main castle. It's time to wipe him out. Crud will just search this location. And Earth will just continue to search this location. We are gaining 13 bucks a round. Very nice. Uh, we might as well build a granary. Let's put it here. And end our turn. While exploring the province, the hero Earth is ambushed by brigands. The bandits assault him with shrill whistles and battle cries. So, this was the event I was warning you about. Um, you can get ambushed by brigands. Let's take a look at the group. As you can see, though, there isn't much here. Uh, this event is generally something you want to have happen when you have a low-level hero, like level 1 or 2, who has a okay army with them, which is exactly what we have here. If we survive this encounter, we actually will get a decent piece of treasure for winning this fight. So hopefully we can do so without too much trouble. All right, let's, uh, let's start. Five enemies and we also have five of us. All right, let's get into the woods. You'll stay there. Can we kill this renegade? We have a triple blade as well. Let's take a look at his stats. We'll kill him with either ability. Let's use the triple blade then. There goes their range support. This guy still has range attack though. We'll need to be careful of the thief. All right, we're taking an attack next round, but only one of them. Let's, uh... Let's lightning bolt and heavily damage... Let's say this brigand. We'll hurl a, a spear at this guy, and then we'll accept their attack. That was perfect. 
exactly what I wanted to have happen. We can throw a spear at the thief, and then shoot the thief to kill it. We can lightning bolt. Actually, let's instead web this brigand. His defense is increased, but he can't do anything for three turns. He'll just sit there. We can heal this guy up. And uh, let's kill that brigand. And Earth leveled up. Let's take a point into Wand Master with him. He also gained a point of magic. Oh, we didn't even look at Wand Master. It's initiative, uh, range damage, and something else. Darn it, I'm so sorry, everyone. I meant to at least look at that skill before we took it. Oh, we definitely want the range attack plus one. We'll take the range defense. And we gained a rank four spells. Uh, we gained, okay, so first off, we gained 497 bucks. And Mass Defense increases the armor of all friendly units by two and the resistance by one. Lasts three turns. That's amazing. Excellent. Continue exploring. That was really incredibly awesome. That's a decent spell. Unfortunately, we'll never use it because we're not going to get any tier four uh, unlocks by, I think, anyone in our army. But there you have it. I think we'll now equip the healer's staff. And what skills do you have? Necromancy. Right. That was a waste of a skill. We did take Wand Master 1. Which gave us, um, what did that give us? I thought it gave us like a, oh, a plus one ranged attack damage, plus one initiative, I think plus one ammo. Probably should at least equip that to start the battles. And let's buy you a ring. So as you can see, that gave us quite a, quite a nice significant amount of money. You can get that encounter as the very first encounter when you explore in a shard. So be careful if you just decide to go exploring with a hero without any support or very, very early on. You can just be wiped out. You'll note that that was going to be too tough for any uh, singular hero. A mage wouldn't have the spells to do that. Even if he had four, uh, all the four starting with lightning bolts, he'd still end up dying. A scout couldn't win that by himself, not the starting scout. Nor could a warrior, nor could a starting commander, especially if the commander didn't have any troops with them. So just keep that in mind. Um, I think we will grab another... Actually, we'll grab Astral Energy. And we'll actually equip the wand now instead. And I think we'll build, or uh, let's build the Sorcerer's Workshop. This will provide us access to all of this stuff, which is not that useful. But it will also unlock a Sorcery Store, which I want. We're also nearing the end of the game. If we care about glory at all then we will want to build as many buildings as we possibly can. Because they're worth it's worth more points for us to have those buildings at the end of the game. All right, Earth. Um, we just built something. We can actually buy you some sandals for one more stamina. Oh, we also don't need to carry this saber around with you. All right, you're going to keep exploring. Scar is attacking the red player. And Crud, you are... Just sitting here, exploring this place. All right, let's try to kill some heroes. Actually, first, do I want to cast Deadly Terror? I don't think we need it. So this would lower the unit's morale by seven and the population mood by ten, uh, is lowered for 10 turns. It could be nice to make the battle a little easier, but I don't think we'll have trouble. Because we're entering that location from a hilly province, we should have hills on our side. They'll have forest on theirs, but I still think we can easily win. We will use our magic arrows for this battle as well. Oh, we also probably should build a granary. Uh, we'll build you... That's a goblin settlement. Oh, we have a goblin settlement. I haven't even... Oh, do we have it yet? We do! So, uh, what am I talking about? So, uh, I haven't mentioned it at all yet. See our income? This is how much we're making from our castle province. This is from all our provinces itself. Earning 20, actually, I'm sorry. This is how much our castle itself is producing. This is what we're earning for all our provinces and the crystals and gold. How much our heroes are earning. How much our opponents are affecting us, either by giving us money or taking it away from us. And this is our total. We can see that we're spending this many under armies. 
Our guards are costing us 72 and 8 crystals. We have 5 garrisoned units. Or we have... We have sorry. We have a... We have units in the garrison, which is costing us 5 gold. And... We have this. What is this? We have corruption. What is corruption? What the heck? What is corruption? Well, the bigger... The larger your empire, your kingdom on a shard, the more corruption it will begin to accumulate. Corruption will begin growing and taking more and more of the money that you would normally be earning. Later on in the game, a corruption will be probably one of the... From what I can tell, at least, it hasn't happened to me yet because I haven't gotten that far, but it looks like corruption will be a growing concern with more and more of your population becoming corrupt. You will begin losing more and more money and gems. You can build structures to reduce corruption, both in a province to reduce it there and maybe even in the surrounding lands, and in your castle to reduce the global corruption anyway. Different races produce different amounts of corruption. Goblins, in particular, are very corrupt and produce a great deal of corruption for your empire. So be careful if you, say that, if you decide to actually take over a goblin province. Uh, anyway, I'm getting to babble a little bit. So uh, I just wanted to show off corruption that there, it will be a concern much later on. It's a concern for us playing competent because I think we have 15 uh, provinces. How many provinces do we have? Let's see. Can we see that here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What slimy swamp? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I think in competent, once you're over 16 provinces, you begin having corruption. Uh, it's, I think it's 18 if you are playing on skilled and 20 on beginner. And of course that number goes down more, uh, which, is, which is to say that corruption begins affecting you earlier. On harder, on harder difficulty levels. I've never really clicked that button either. We can see how many places, uh, we can sort them by all the different races that we have, sort of by how much of the provinces are explored. It's really neat. Uh, this is very nice to quickly f get a good summary of what's happening in your, um, well, in your, in your kingdom. That's that button down here, everyone. Okay, so back to this. So we're attacking, we're exploring, we're exploring... The hero Skirod has entered the province of Frost. These lands belong to the ruler local lord. Blocking your party's path are, is a province's guard. It's 11 enemies here. A healer, a thief, a shaman, a goblin, an orc, an elf, a dwarf, a fairy, a halfling, monk, and guardsman. Let's attack. This is the enemy hero group. Um, they are perhaps one of the stronger groups you will ever fight in the, uh, in the campaign. Well, I'm sorry. Nope, nope. I said that's wow, Tim. That's the utterly wrong thing to say. They are perhaps the strongest guard you can fight early on in the game. Um, you get a contract automatically provided to you uh, for to use the guard um, just by well, just by building. Uh, I think the tavern or inn. I am very nervous about losing a unit to the elf, so we're going to set up like this, and hopefully he will shoot me. Or one of my um, one of my infantrymen, who I still didn't level. Let's start. We will totally raise a false alarm. Yes, good. Shoot me. Okay, there's a few things here we haven't actually seen before, but we'll take a look at them later. Like we haven't seen a fairy. I don't think we've seen a monk. I don't think we've seen this guy a guardsman yet either. This dwarf is totally going to reach the hills. Uh, We're probably going to need to take a hill. Let's take one. Our defense goes up a lot thanks to our um, mastery. Let's also kill this elf outright. We can then charge you up. Uh, this goblin could die. Do I care? Let's move you into the woods. You up on the hill. We'll move you away from everything. Our mule will move up twice. We want to move our healer towards where we're taking some damage. And let's begin killing a few more of them. Let's throw... Uh, this goblin is really low level. He's just here for morals. I think he's the mascot. Can we kill this guy? Not in the... We could if we double shot. Do I want to do that? He has six defense. We have... No, no, we won't. We'll, pick him. we'll, we'll barely hit him. Let's, uh, let's scare the goblin. 
Let's scare the goblin. And we'll pummel the thief. We'll shoot the monk. By damaging the various enemies, I'm going to end up making the enemy decide to heal. His healer's going to heal this. She's going to heal probably someone, and the monk will heal himself, which is what exactly what I want to have happen. I don't want this casting haste. I don't want him attacking me with spells. And, uh, well, the healer's just going to heal. Ooh, Tim, he reached your ranger. That's super bad. Let's pull you back. Let's move you two spaces here. And let's shuffle to try to protect our ranger. We can kill the dwarf. Oh, no, we can't, Tim. We're going to make the goblin panic. I'm fine with that. Let's move you onto the forest. That will make this guy panic as well. What's your counterattack? Eight. Ugh. You take away some of your stamina. At oh! Whoa, that's the mule, Tim. That's, that's going to be fine. Let's go ahead and take away some stamina from the guardsmen. going after me. That was a big hit I took. We should still be okay. Let's move one away and kill the dwarf. We'll heal. This guy is going to be moving up against me. I want him to waste a heal on the goblin. I don't want to actually attack the goblin yet. Let's get take the hill here. You will take this hill. You'll go back on the hill. Damage the monk. We will heal some stamina. And morale. And that will be good. Oh, I forgot to use my half -life. Okay, things are still okay at the moment. Let's move you back one so I can move my healer up to. Next turn we'll heal ourselves. Uh, I'm sorry, we'll heal Sirod. Uh, let's let's try. We should really put some more damage on something. Can we kill the monk? Can hurt him a lot. Spear that guy. I don't want this this group to move. How many ammo do you have? You have one ammo left. I want you to waste it. And you, you have four left. Let's restore some morale. I really want him to just waste a heal on the goblin. We'll just throw that there. Perfect. Let's move you back one and heal you. I will just rest with our leader. We've won this fight. Let's heal some morale. Let's heal some morale and stamina. He has no stamina, so we can just attack him without incurring any counterattacks. can have you heal our leader. Let us kill their halfling. He's meditating. That's a really bad idea for him to do. Let's move up and just kill him. Charge their shaman. You, oh, you hit the you hit the what call it? You hit walked in the trap. But that's going to reduce your stamina dramatically. Yeah, you also can't attack this round. That was dumb. I should have threw the spear first. Uh, let's hold on to, the, to that stamina instead.
victory. Well done, team. Skilud has leveled. I think we'll take a reaction two now for that plus one initiative, range defense, and point of defense. We're about to fight the enemy commander hero. You will take a point in stamina. We'll give you a hit point. A hit point. Ammo. And here we go. We've got the enemy hero to fight. The commander. I think this will be this will be our first hero versus hero fight, won't it? I think so. Let's attack. I am not as content as my start to my starting position this time. Let's get our healer in the center. And we want the mule here. All right. Let's start. We will totally raise the false alarm. Oh, it looks like he picked up Dryads. He either has an ally uh, with them, or alternatively, they um, he hired them from a location. Here's a commander. He's level 6. He's low level. Oh, that sucks for him then. Alright, let's start with a double shot, and let's take out... Actually, we should probably shoot and or try to kill this guy. We can kill him with one with a double shot. We can almost kill him with a single shot. Let's kill their leader. I don't want him casting spells during combat. If he has a triple blade, he could easily kill like my healer with one hit, or two hits at least. You guys all set up on the hills. We'll heal some stamina on our dear leader. <laughs> Now, I do not know if killing the commander, I think it does, but I don't know if killing the commander strips his army of the passive benefits the commander would have granted them. I think it does, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's weaken that Dryad. This one's totally going to reach us. It's The Dryads are the more dangerous enemies here. Let's begin hammering her with um, javelins. Good. She will not survive when she reaches us. Oh, we must hit her with a crippling shot. Her movement was reduced as well. I'm fine with that. We have any red dryads? We'll read dryads a little later. Let's uh, continue with the spears. This poor group. You don't stand a you don't stand a chance. Not a chance. Spearmen, everyone. They are fantastic. I really like our spearmen. Haven't even really had to use a donkey, have we? I guess I guess I like them though all the same. It's nice to be able to have the option to replenish ammunition. Let's take a let's take defense. We'll take uh we'll take supplier plus one. Oh, scorn! A new ability. I don't think I've seen this one before. The unit is taught to cast a scorn spell, reducing the counterattack, defense, and range defense of friendly or enemy creatures, but increasing their attack. Begin a siege. While exploring the province of Ritual, the hero Earth has spent the night in a remote village. The villagers were dull and taciturn. At night, the hero is awakened by a noise in the street. This has the op- you can get a really- well, not a long level quest, but a difficult quest to complete here. Let's see what's going on. Come on. Let's go see what's going on. Out on the street, Earth finds that the door to a, of a neighboring house is broken in half. But this is not the work of drunken vandals or common burglars. In the light of a torch, a smooth skull is perfectly visible, and underneath it, the horrid sights of half-decayed flesh. They are undead. <laughs> a little bit of language here, everyone. Holy shit! Never seen such sleepwalkers. Attack! Let's do it. <laughs> I love the Russians. I love them so much. Uh, okay, let's move you over. Uh, we Let's move you on the hill. Just two of them. We have our magic wand equipped, but they're still too far away. Let's start by... Uh, let's cast... Lightning. Heavily damage that guy. One, 
to... We'll stay put. We can actually kill it with our, with our web, with our wand. Let's do that. That guy's gonna take a long time to reach us. We can start plinking him. Let's move you two here. Good, we want him going there. The hero kills the undead and knocks on the door, wanting to understand what is happening, but the inhabitants of the house do not respond. In the morning, Earth asks the other peasants, but they all keep their mouths shut. Having failed to get to the bottom of things, he is forced to leave. We could tell the Inquisition something's up here. It'll cost us 150, and I think the Inquisition shows up several turns later to, and burns the place to the ground. We can say, we can, we can leave, I think that's what these options are, or we can try to continue the quest. Earth is not going to be able to win this quest, I don't think, but let's go ahead and try anyway. I must find out what is happening. The hero leaves the village and prepares an ambush. After some time, a lonely guy with a fishing rod appears on the road and is immediately arrested. Earth tells him, Listen carefully. I think there are dark deeds going on here. I am not a lone adventurer, but the, represent but the representative, representative of a mighty lord, the new ruler of this place, and I can see what's going on here. Whether you like it or not, I don't yet know who you all are and who you are intimidated by, but I could... We could threaten him, but I think we'll give you a lot of gold to tell us what's going on. Okay, I get the point, sir. I'll tell you everything. A couple of years ago, a sorcerer appeared not far from the village. I do not know whence he came, only that he was often seen in the cemetery. First, he was there to collect some sort of herbs, and he avoided us. And then he entered the ancient crypt. What crypt? Uh, our elders say that our village was once ruled by a prince. And when he died and did not leave an heir, it became a free settlement. So it is said that the prince is buried in the crypt. Well, kinda lost our patience then. Gathered everyone and went looking for him. Couldn't let the, him, them desecrate our father's graves, we thought. Didn't look for him for long, we did. Came to us himself, with a horde of zombies. What could we possibly do? No rid of him now, no. Demands triple taxes now. And once they can't pay, sends his undead to them. It must be in the tomb. He extracted an artifact. I don't know what he found there, but if he hears that his secret somehow got out, he'll get everyone and I'll return to my lord. Uh, Alright, try to hold on until I return. Let's, let's do that. While exploring the province of Dryad Thicket, the hero Crud found some unusual tower ruins. Ah! A militiaman, a slinger, brigand, a bow, and a bowman, and a thief. Yeah, I think Crud's army can kill this. Let's do it. Might take a loss on the way to the enemy, but we're going to try this all the same. Let's do this. Well, that's a lot of them. That's a lot of them. Let's move up one and cast haste. Kind of want to stay in the bushes. Uh, the bushes, the trees. And he does have quite a bit of ranged attack here. Let's also ca- Oh, we don't have mockery on this guy, Tim. Let's just end our turn then. Alright, up we go. Let's, uh, try killing them. One, two, he won't quite reach us. I think we'll just stay put. Let's, uh, just end our turn. Two, to protect our bowmen, who can still be reached this turn. We have to move the bowmen away, or kill this thief. I don't know if we can kill the thief. We'll try anyway. Not bad, team. Not bad. We take at least one loss here. Let's move you up here to protect our bowmen. Okay, good. We'll we've won. 
And we will not be able to kill our, our hero. He's just going to slaughter everything. Unless it's topped off. Why did the enemy do that? Why did he throw himself at our hero and kill himself? Because from what I can tell, the AI knows it can't win. And it wants to end the combat as soon as possible to prevent me from healing and, and uh, possibly getting more experience for my other troops. So, um, or rather, not so, not so much healings, but like trying to heal morale or healing, um, healing my units up because it wants me to still be weak. So the enemy will throw itself at you to kill you uh, in that regard. And it totally did. Good for it. Let's take point of resistance. We'll take uh, morale. Stamina. Stamina. Uh, garbage. We'll take it anyway. All right, we leveled up. Did we level up? We did not level up with Crud, but he's down a unit. We'll send him back to the base. We have a warlock in this ancient crypt. The powerful warlock that lives here considers all the surrounding land his own and terrorizes the local population. The people live in fear and pay their dues. So are we, we're earning less money? We're not earning less money, but with him, we'll try to kill him with our um, ranger group. Um, I'm sorry, our archer group. Right now, though, Earth can only really still continue to scout around. As we're over here, we are now sieging this location. Uh, we'll be told how many rounds it will take uh, soon. Right now, before I forget again, we're going to level these guys up. Yeah, he gained some ranged attack bonus there. I think his counterattack also went up. 8-8. Eight, eight. Let's see what he gets after this. 8-9. Yep, okay, cool. I remember to actually level these people up. All right, we're still sieging. Well, let's just do that. You're exploring. Crud's heading back. Do we want to cast anything or build anything? We'll build another granary. We're saving for later. So, we are sieging this location. Oh, crap! Another, another brigand ambush. Wonderful! Assuming we can win, of course. Uh, we can probably take that hill. Let's kill. Oh, or not kill. They're renegade. Should use triple blade, Tim. He had one point of resistance. Oh, God! Let's uh, pull you back and heal you. We can't even reach the Renegade. He's outside of the range of my uh, wand. Let's just kill him. Let's go ahead and use Chain Lightning. We'll cast it on this guy, and it will might affect the other two. Like just one other, but that other is dead. We can heal. Can you kill him? No, he has parry. That's not going to happen. We will web. Let's actually switch our equipment on our wizard. We're gonna give him the healer staff. This is our first time you're seeing this as well. Um, you can do this with any hero. You can swap with any left hand or right hand item with something else in his inventory, but it takes his turn to do that. And as you can see, he also lost one stamina. Let's heal, which is the whole reason why I equipped that staff. Get out of the marsh. We will take... Uh, is there any reason for summoning either, Tim? He's never going to reach the level to take the, the uh, demon. We also pick up plus one magic. Let's grab another point of wisdom. We'll take a hit point. We'll take a stamina. We'll totally give medals to everybody. Counterattack. We get another rank 4 spell. We'll take a look at it once we're done. Four more rounds on the siege. And then we're through that location. 
Crud is heading back. Let's, um, let's stop here. Oh, not, not stop the game. We're going to go into this location, and we're going to destroy the granary I probably just built here. And instead, we're going to build an outpost here. We now have a garrison at this location. We can go ahead and put a spearman here. This location now has to be sieged, similarly to how this location up here is being sieged by my leader. We can also hire troops here. If this location was a special race, like, a, I'm sorry, was a non-human, we could even hire, maybe, a non-human for this location. They'd show up uh, available for purchase. Uh, I think we're going to actually purchase... Do I want a bowman? We probably should take another spearman. With that in mind, you no longer need to go back, crud. You can stay here. So let's go to the wall back, and we will just keep exploring some more. And up here, we're still sieging. Over here, we're still exploring. Actually, we picked up more magic. Let's take more magic. Oh, wow, we also gained Earthquake. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, we had a Tier 3 with Mass Defense. Tier Earthquake is Tier 4. Inflicts 12 points of physical damage to all enemy units on the battlefield. Armor protects against the damage, but only partially. Magic immunity does not apply. Does not affect flying or hovering creatures. Damage increases slightly with the caster's spell power. We could vendor it for 220 bucks and 44 crystals also, but I think we're, we're good at the moment. You also picked up another rank 2 spell, and we have rank 2 spells. Um, slots available. Uh, spells available, sorry. Let's take... Oh, I should probably have taken the summon. Let's take Atrophy. And let's look at our units. We don't really have anything that needs Bless, but we could take it. Let's drop this. We'll take Atrophy. Hmm. Let's grab another lightning. I don't really want any of these. I, I, I'm sorry, I do. They're all fantastic, but I don't want them. I, I don't need Earth to use them yet. I think we'll just take a vulnerability. And we'll grab a burn... Oh, uh, let's... Yeah, burn ammo as well. Okay, those will be our spells. Oh, look at this, everyone. There's someone else approaching us over here. The red, red had another hero, this scout. And he's making a beeline right for this location. No matter what level that scout is, no matter what the condition of his troops or equipment... The hero, they are going to enter this location and try to stop us. The enemy cannot hire any new units and put them in this garrison while it's under siege. They cannot build a new guard here, nor can they resurrect a hero as long as I'm sieging their main headquarters. They, they are desperate. They know that in three or four more turns, he's going to be out of the game. It's seven enemies. It's a ranger, a swordsman, pikeman, fairy, and dryad. Yeah, they, he must have a alliance with uh, with forest creatures, with the fairies. Well, this is fine for us. He's a ranger, so he has he's a magic car He's a magic um archer, right? It's a it's the archer. It, you start as a scout, then you have an archer, an adventurer, a ringleader, or a ranger are the class types. He has shown up to stop us. Oof. He has a hill as well. We can take a hill too. Let's do that. We'll put you in the woods. Actually, what's your defense of the woods? Seven. Let's do this. Our, our, our defense of the woods is utterly amazing. It is really incredible. Enemy will be hard-pressed to damage us with that. 
Unless he has, like, uh, arm armor-piercing weapons. The Probacor raises a false alarm in your camp. As an outcome of the resulting confusion, your soldiers are quite exhausted when the battle begins. So he used a false alarm on us. He also has the train mastery. His, his units just charge straight in. All right, let's heal. Our donkey can rest. You have to rest. We'll rest you as well. I want to kill one of these. Oh, 24 hit points on her, too. What level? She's only level 2? Hmm. Let's kill this thing. Oh. Kill one of the units, and then you all can rest. Thirteen damaged him because you're not in the woods. You're just standing out there. Let's move you over here to help defend my leader. Let's heal some stamina on him. Hit him right back. Oh, we should have double shot. We would have probably killed him outright. Oh god, seven damaged him. You might lose this guy. Let's damage her as much as possible to reduce her uh, her damage. I want to stay in the woods with everyone else. Heavy hits, but we're, we haven't lost anyone yet. Let's move our ranger away. Move you... One. And we will attack. Kill her. You don't do any damage to it. Our donkey's probably dead. Ah, oh, we lost our our spearmen, our low level spearmen. Okay, let's uh, heal some morale and stamina. We have to rest. We're so exhausted. Don't want to lose our little guy here. We really, really don't. Oh. <laughs> Woo! We won. We did take a casualty, though, and we got badly beat up. But we won. We'll take Crippling Shot. Hit points. Hit points. Morale. Examine that ruin. Three Minotaurs! That's no good. Continue the siege. Blue player has not shown up yet. Let's continue exploring down here. I think we're good. Let's just end our turn. A jewelry store. Let's examine it. The Eurocroid has reached a sturdy stone building. Judging by a sign over the entrance, it's a jewelry shop. It looks like the owner is afraid of robbers, so he keeps an amazing army with him that could conquer any castle ever. Dwarf, Dwarf, Pavisir, Runesmith, Alchemist, Scorpion, and Room Master. Actually, that's not that bad. That's not that bad. But we're going to enter the shop. Seeing the hero, the owner's eyes glitter with greed. At your service, noble sir. At your service. Do you wish to purchase a magic amulet? Or are magic rings more to your liking? Or would you like to buy a bracelet for your lady love? You, here you will find everything you need. And my prices, I'm sure, will be a pleasant surprise. Let's look at the goods. What is this guy selling? So first off, uh, it's a store, which means we have access to our own um, vault here. We can also repair all our gear, which we will totally do. 
I think we'll vendor the toga. We don't need this either. This will come in useful for our other mage. That we can keep that here. Um, we'll vendor the mail plate gauntlets. Two or four. Let's let's drop the saber. We'll we'll stick with the pole axe. We'll drop this as well. So maybe we want something new. Let's take a look at what he has for sale. So plus two hit point ring. A copper ring. Remember, we can buy copper rings at, at for our own self at our um, at our jewelry store, and they're only a hundred bucks and five gems. So that means everything here we can see is three times the cost as it would be normally for us. This is to say that you can sometimes purchase equipment you could have purchased if you built the shop, but the stuff you're going to purchase from jewelry stores, range weapon shops, armory stores, they're going to be much more expensive than if you had built the shop in your own castle instead. Silver ring, a golden ring, a copper bracelet, that's nice. A magic amulet, that's also very nice. I think we'll purchase, uh, well, we don't really need this, but we'll purchase a copper bracelet anyway. It's plus two stamina. Two more rounds in the siege, we'll continue it. Your castle's being visited, oh, we've seen this before. Let's go ahead and give them what they're asking for. Okay. Earth, you are going to keep exploring. Skirlud's equipment is heavily damaged. Let's now put on these arrows instead. And keep search and keep sieging. Red might have been sieging Blue's castle, honestly. Uh, there's been a strong earthquake in the province of Thunder Island. Some people are killed, and some buildings are completely destroyed. Provide aid to the victims. It's very expensive, but we'll do that. We lost the mine. We'll rebuild that again. We really need more, more uh, areas uncovered. We're losing lots of cash. The Hero Earth completely explored the province of Ritual. Now there is not an acre of uncharted land here. Gold income from this province is increased by two. Okay, the Hero Skirad is besieging enemy fortifications in one province of Frost. The wall is wide enough to breach and launch an assault, but some fortifications are still intact that could increase our losses during it. Let's assault! We took a tiny bit of morale hits here because the last battle did not go so smoothly. Also because we were sieging the location. We can just use our morale boost and we cover quite a bit of stamina during this fight, though. We do not need a false alarm for this. He has no ranged units in here except for this single spearman. This will be a piece of cake. Let's heal our ranger. The enemy, I believe, gets a defensive bonus as long as they're on this side of the wall. Moving up a bit with our leftover infantry. Oh. Take the hill. Keep throwing spears. Oh. Kill another one. That'll help improve the morale. Let's improve some more morale. Hit point. One of the local lords has been defeated and is no longer an obstacle in your quest to seize this shard. There's been another earthquake in the province of White Ridges. Some people are killed and buildings destroyed. Provide aid to the victims. The scouts of the province of Shokar Valley report that the ancient ruins not far from the settlements is infested by some creatures. That's a hint that, hey, you got, you got a hero that can totally kill something over here. That's a shame we lost the mine. Oh, we're almost out of cash. But we won. Awesome. See, Crud cannot afford to repair all the equipment that he has on him. Still can't afford it. Let's go ahead and vendor, um... 
We're never gonna learn to summon demon. We might, though, get lucky and just try it. Let's sell the summon wolf. Enough to repair all his equipment. Not enough, though, to hire a new unit to make up for the one we lost, our poor spearman. Um, let's... Can we maybe vendor something else? We're probably not going to use Magic Crystal. How long has it been able to last? Three turns? Uh, let's vendor this. That will give us enough cash that we can hire someone. And I think we'll hire another Slinger this time. Um, we really kind of need another front-line unit, Tim. You really do. Hire another Spearman. And we can probably kill some things in this location. This was the enemy's starting location. Which is why we... Well, first off, what's the percentage explored? 82%. Notice that it's no longer a castle. It now consists of an outpost, a storehouse, and a library. That represents the fact that you have... You can hire units at a garrison. You're able to store and collect and purchase items here and access your library from your own castle. Having multiple castles would be overpowered, let's just say. All right, well, we're going to spend some time and kill a few of these things. Let's fight the bandit horde there. Hey! Oh, no, there was this one. Oh, sorry, I was looking at the percentage of wounded of the um, infantry here. If we see the enemy hero show up, we're probably going to have to dismiss them. I don't really want to do that. It'd be really nice to have a group of leveled up guards help defend this province, but it's probably not going to happen. Keep exploring. Actually, Tim, we need to get back here. You need to get back there because you need to kill that warlock. We'll begin traveling all that distance. And our Earth, however, can go over here instead. Uh... Yeah, let's just... Oh, let's not do that yet. We need to wait one round so we can hire... Oh, we can't even hire, Tim, a guard or anyone in that province. You can't. You're going to have to vendor something else. Let's sell... Let's sell the gauntlets. And if I go to Earth, we can trade the toga for the coat. Still not enough. Let's vendor a spell. I really want to see some of these spells and what they look like, but it's just not going to happen, is it? Let's vendor stone skin. With that, we can now hire a unit and to toss in the garrison here. We need to kill that warlock. Or we're going to make the attempt to do so. We're going to double all the way back. All right, let's uh, end our turn. Secure dot is still moving on. Notice that all of the enemy players' lands are now completely gone. They're no longer his. They now are have been returned to their natural state. With one big exception, any of the ones that had guards will probably still have that guard here. It's just no longer visible as to what guard is actually stationed at these locations. Alright, let's end our turn. We don't have any more cash, so we can't really do anything. A Chaos Stronghold. Continue exploring. People in the province of Shokar Valley have risen up and against our rule. This is sad. We don't want to do this fight. Let's just let them handle it. Good work, guys. Good work. Actually, we should have handled it. We would have got to choose these two guys' level ups. And instead, they get to choose. Your spies report that lightning has struck a boulder in the province of Great Tabernacles, causing it to split in two and reveal a small gold vein. We need the money. Order magicians to send in the golem. The mages in the golem go to the boulder and start working. The golem's superhuman strength allows it to grind virtually the whole boulder into dust and not miss any precious nuggets. Digging up the whole vein, the mages mine 175. Let's reward them for their good work. I'm doing a lot of the good options, even if we can't afford it, because the shard's almost over. And what I'm doing now is I want to get a high uh, karma rating, or a higher karma rating, so we're going to spend that stuff. You can also check your karma rating, kind of, by looking at your title. 
we are lottery, the pure. This is an indicator as to how good or evil you are. Like, we, we could have been lottery, the dreadful, or lottery, the, uh, uh, the blessed, lottery, the incorruptible, or lottery, the wicked. Uh, these are all hints as to whether or not you're a good aligned or evil aligned immortal. We'll cover that a little more in the next few shards as well. All right, we're here. Let's go and give this a try. We're going to go and step in and try to kill the Warlock. I've never fought a Warlock before. This might be beyond us, but we're going to give it a shot. Uh, we have a spot for a rank 2 spell and another rank 1. Why don't we take burn ammo? We should actually do this, Tim. What spell do we want you to have? Grace, Magic Crystal. We don't really need either of them. We could take one of the mass threes. We could take Miracle. Nah, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. Let's instead take, um, take another heal. All right, let's try killing that Warlock. No idea what that battle will be like. We're going to find out when we step into it. Percent explored. It's a skeleton, a zombie, a bone spearman, and the warlock himself. Skirud believes its enemy's pathetic. Let's try killing it. Well, this is going to go very poorly for him. We have a hill to stand on first off. That's very lucky for us. We'll raise a false alarm. Warlocks are adepts of necromancy and dark sorcery. They have spent many years learning the secrets of the dark arts. Day by day, probing the depths of forbidden magic. Warlocks are feared by everyone, from mere mortals to the very rulers who recruit them in their service. So great is the warlock's power over the forces of death that the enemies they defeat are not laid to rest. Instead, they rise from the dead to continue fighting at their slayer's side. Getting experience in battle, warlocks greatly expand their arsenal of spells, learning more and more powerful spells at the School of Death. The best... Oh, okay. Oh, you can hire this unit, I guess, at some point. He has magic shots. He can... What is this? Killing an enemy soldier raises it as an obedient undead. Raises the creature's skeleton. At the extra cost of one stamina point, the unit can attack with Dark Dominion plus three. Enemy soldier killed like this will not be raised, but one ammo is restored instead. Additionally, the amount of health stolen from the enemy using Life Leech is doubled. The attack type selection is memorized and kept until the explicit... Okay, so, um, right, it's hitting there that you can click on a button to make him use a certain type of attack. And you can left-click again to make him use the other type of attack type. He ignores two points of the enemy's resistance. His undead have plus one strength. He can cast Ray Zombie on a corpse. He can heal his undead. His he has attack strength 19 at range 7. Let's just kill him outright, then. Let's use double shot. No. Who knows we don't have to think about that battle anymore. <laughs> Archers. I love scouts. Actually, I love all the hero types in this game. They are all useful for completely different things, and they have... Some are better against certain types of enemies than others are. Scouts excel at single kill... Uh, archers excel, especially, at killing units outright, immediately. They're especially high-powered units like that Warlock. Alright, we have skeletons marching up. Let's... Uh, I think we can probably take the hit from the undead. Twenty damage, my god. It also set it on fire.
We leveled again. I think... Archery 3 could be tempting, getting a, to ignore one more point of their armor, but I think we're good on the damage front. Let's grab re re Reaction 3, giving us one more point of initiative, another point of speed, and plus one more resistance. We'll grab a hit point. We will take attack plus one. Mass Slow and the Light Monument. A bright rainbow has appeared over the sky, the promise of Savage Wood. Priests say it's a good omen, promising some luck. The magicians claim a rainbow often appears over lands rich in magic energy. So it makes sense to perform the ritual to search for magic before the rainbow vanishes. Let's send the team to search for treasure. Their chase team scours all the lands around the province of Savage Wood, but they fail to find everything. Damn. Okay. Oh well. Alright, that was awesome. A mass slow is actually a fantastic spell for Skirud to learn. He's also learned a fourth level spell. Amazing. But I think we want Mass Slow. Let's take that. All right. Uh, probably should end the session. But I'd like to finish the Shard. We'll finish it in the next episode, everyone. Um, we're all set. There's no reason to delay any longer. I've been delaying. There's no reason for that. You guys deserve better than that. So um, we're going to go ahead and finish this next episode. We're going to march right to the blue player and annihilate him. All right. Well, we'll do that next episode. I'll see you guys then. Take care, everyone.